Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar on industrial pitless units. We are happy you were able to join with us today. My name is Braylon McEwen, and I'm the social media and content coordinator here at Beauchart Industries. I am joined today by our tech team, Will Bender, our quality assurance analyst, Steve Hudson, our quality assurance manager, and Paul Erb, our research and development manager. They will help answer your questions at the end of the presentation. Any questions we cannot get to, we will reach out following the presentation. Throughout the presentation, you can type out any questions that you have. You should see a sidebar on the right-hand side of your screen. If you click on the top button, which looks like an arrow in a box, it will open up a little menu with a question box, which you can type your questions and we will be able to see them. Please note the slide number if you're referencing a specific slide. The numbers will be displayed on the bottom left of the slide. To start off the presentation, we will take a look at what an industrial pitless unit is and the industry certifications. Then on to the discharge housing, spool types, well caps, and QA procedures. We will then finish the presentation with any questions. Let's get started. First, let's explore exactly what a pitless unit is. Industrial pitless units eliminate the need for well pits or the need for additional buildings for industrial and municipal well installations. This photo shows the above ground portion of the pitless unit after installation is completed. Our units are available in stainless and ductile and range from five inch to 12 inch sizes and are available in three foot to 10 foot berry lengths. The discharge housing and spool components of the industrial pitless units create a two piece 90 degree elbow to direct the flow of water from the submersible pump into the service line buried below the frost line to prevent freezing. An upper barrel extends the well casing to the surface for easy access to the well, and an additional two feet above ground section prevents surface water from contaminating the well. This animation shows the key components of a well installation. The pump column, which consists of the submersible pump, drop pipe and electrical cable are supported by the pitless adapter spool. The spool is sealed to the discharge housing by O-rings. A crane is attached to the liftout assembly to lower the pump column into the well for installation. When the pump requires service or replacement, the pump column is lifted to pull the pump to the surface. We will now take a look at the discharge housings. Never mind, we're going to take a look at the certifications. <laughs> Beauchart Pillows units are fully certified to the NSF 61 standard with no minimum daily flow rate requirements. The NSF 372 no lead, Water Systems Council PAS 97, ASSE 1093, hydrostatic pressure tested under PAS 97, and they meet the Great Lakes Upper Mississippi River Board requirements. We will now take a look at the discharge housings. The clearway discharge housing design has no reduction in size, providing full bore passage through the discharge housing for pump insulation or well rehabilitation. This animation shows the insertion of a protective sleeve of equal size to the weld diameter that protects the O-ring seats when equipment, like a brush, is lowered through the discharge housing for cleaning the casing or well screens. The threaded connections in the discharge housing are specially designed to ensure the full thread of the weld nipple and upper barrel are fully protected in the housing. The wall thickness increases as the threads taper, providing a thicker cross section. By engaging all the threads, the joint strength is increased and the risk of failure due to corrosion is greatly reduced, increasing the life expectancy over others that have exposed threads. Standard units are shipped with a weld nipple for direct welding onto the weld casing. If a threaded connection is desired, simply remove the weld nipple and thread the housing onto the weld casing. The standard unit is designed to be welded to the weld casing. 
several other options are readily available as accessories to attach the unit to the well casing, a class 150 flange, an EBAA mega flange, or a mechanical joint. In addition to the traditional installations, these units can be easily converted to attach to PVC well casing or to different casing materials using isolation flange kits to eliminate any risk of galvanic corrosion between steel casing and a stainless steel pitless unit. The standard unit is supplied with a threaded discharge connection. Several other options are readily available as accessories to convert the connection to the service pipe to a class 150 flange, a plane and nipple for welding, or use of a mechanical joint. The discharge can be easily reduced or increased to desired pipe diameter by using swage nipples. These add-on accessories are quoted and sold separately. They are included on the second page of the order forms for easy reference and quoting. The globe design ensures the O-ring is not compressed as it passes by the discharge port, eliminating any chance of the O-ring getting cut during installation. The large 360 degree water passage provides additional safeguards to ensure sufficient water flow in the event that the spool is not properly aligned for optimal water flow. To ensure minimal friction loss, the best practice is to align the flow passage in the spool directly with the discharge outlet in the housing. Following the installation instructions will ensure proper alignment and a trouble-free operation. Staggered seating of the O-rings reduces the force required to seat the O-rings. You can see in the animation that the top O-ring is just above the upper seat area as the lower O-ring is being compressed into the bottom seat. Let's move on to spool types. Beauchard has two spool types designed for specific well installations. Normal well spools are used in wells where the static water level is below the pitless unit, whereas flowing well spools are required for wells where the water is being pushed up to the surface and flowing from the top of the well casing. Normal well spools have large crescent-shaped through passages, sometimes referred to as equalization passages, providing large open areas through the spool into the well. Heavy gauge flat jacket, pump cable, and other equipment such as PVC probe tubes for sensors can be easily inserted through the spool. Flowing well spools have a solid top with multiple threaded ports for installing cable seals for a watertight seal around pump cable and sensor wires, preventing water from flowing from the well into the upper barrel. The sealed spool confines the water in the well below the frost line. This cutaway of the spool shows how the probe tubes align with the cable seals inside the spool. The flowing well spools allow for multiple PVC tubes to be inserted into the bottom of the spool without the need to have custom threading on the bottom plate. The tubes are secured in position in alignment with a sensor cable seal port by fastening them to the drop pipe with cable ties, stainless clamps, or pipe wrap tape. The pressure zone tappings allow for installation of a sampling faucet and additional pressure sensing equipment. The optional water sampling valves provide a means to acquire a water sample at the wellhead. The water sampling valve kit has a non-freeze design which allows for sampling in all seasons. All spools include the O-ring number for easy identification. Off-the-shelf American Standard NBR O-rings are readily available for 5-inch, 6-inch, and 8-inch pitless units. O-rings for 10-inch and 12-inch pitless units are custom made from North American Standard cord. All our pitless units are provided with lift pipes complete with hold-down hooks as standard equipment. Hold down hooks prevent damage to well components and eliminate the risk of personal injury due to these three conditions. Prevents pump column from rotating due to locked rotor condition, 
which will result in damage to the pump power cable, prevents lift out of pump column due to thrust pressure against the spool created by startup of high horsepower and capacity pumps, prevents the lifting of the pump column and spool from the well due to internal well pressure created in flowing wells. Hold down hooks also have an additional benefit. They can be engaged and tightened to seat the O-rings. By tightening the nut on the J-hooks, it will force the O-rings to seat in the discharge housing. In the majority of installations, the weight of the pump column will seat the O-rings without the aid of the J-hooks. The hold down pods double as anti-slip lifting pods, eliminating the risk of slippage of lift straps which could result in accidental dropping the pitless unit during the positioning and welding process to the well casing during installation. Safety of workers is a key reason for making the hold down assembly system standard equipment on all units. We will now take a look at well caps. The well caps are constructed from heavy duty cast iron with powder coat finish for corrosion resistance. The sealing gaskets are very robust and modeled from Buna N rubber for excellent sealing. All nuts, bolts, locking pins, and 24 mesh vent screen are stainless steel. Bowshirt well caps are designed with a four inch FBT conduit connection, which provides ample room to install the heaviest of pump cable with ease. Optional cable seals provide a watertight, vermin-proof sanitary barrier between the conduit and the well chamber. Conduit cable seals are available for all pitless units and have power cable holes to seal 14 gauge to very heavy 4 aught pump cables. The conduit can be split into two conduit connections by installing an optional conduit adapter. It provides a two-inch power cable conduit and second one inch conduit for transducer or other sensor cables. Sensor wires should be run in a separate conduit to reduce the risk of electrical interference. The two inch cast iron well cap vent comes complete with a locking pin preventing any tampering. The screen is a 24 mesh and covers nine and three quarter square inches exceeding the requirements of the most stringent state and provincial well construction regulations. Venting of the well is crucial to allow the well to breathe. The vent avoids the creation of a vacuum in the well during the pumping cycle due to the drop in the water level. Equally important is the air in the well must be able to escape as the water level in the well rises back to the normal static water level after the pumping cycle. The well caps are lockable and tamper proof. Two heavy duty stainless, stainless steel locking pins secure the top cover, making it impossible to gain access to the well chamber, even if all the bolt bolts are removed. Since not all well installations are regularly monitored, the vent and two accessory port caps are locked with internal stainless steel locking pins. For installation where frequent monitoring of the well is required, these pins can be removed from the two accessory port caps and replaced with external heavy duty stainless steel locking pins, making it impossible to gain access to the well chamber. However, access can be quickly gained by unlocking and removing the threat cap. This animation demonstrates the removal of the locking pin and cap from one of the two access ports. With the cap removed, sensors can be easily inserted into the probe tube, which guides the sensor down through the spool and down the well free of interference, pump cable, or getting caught between the pump column and the well casing. It is fully protected by the probe tube, which extends down the well as far as the sensors are going to be set. We now have a quick question on your screen. We will give you a minute to answer.
The answer is all of the above. Thanks to everyone who participated. So all Beauchart pitless units are fully certified to NSF 61 standards, including the blue epoxy coating. Ductile units are coated on both the inside and outside and stainless units are coated on the outside only. Every spool has precision machined O-ring grooves. Our ductile iron spools have epoxy coating and the O-ring groove for maximum corrosion resistance. Each pitless unit is closely inspected before sending out the door. A QA employee inspects each component of the unit and fills out a checklist on the quality management system. This keeps a permanent quality assurance record for each individual pitless unit. The info tag is included on every pitless unit for easy identification. Here is an example of a four page to middle drawing that we offer for every size and variation of pitless units. These submittals cover all the certifications, dimensions, and specifications of the pitless unit, as well as detailed information on the spool and well caps, everything typically required by the engineering firm. Beauchart can provide detailed CAD and our dimensional models for the pitless units to engineering firms specifying our units if needed. This requires the completion of a non-disclosure agreement prior to sharing any proprietary information. Beauchart is happy to provide an industrial pitless booklet. The booklet contains all the technical information regarding pitless units, including drawings, dimensions, detailed parts breakdown, along with installation instructions for the units, wall caps, and all the optional accessories. This 87 page booklet brings everything needed together into one single booklet that can be downloaded following the presentation. We also have quote forms available for all well sizes to make ordering a breeze. Quote forms will be available to download on Beauchart U following the presentation. We will now take the time to answer any of your questions that came up during the presentation. Any questions we cannot get to, we will address after the presentation. We will give you a minute to type out your questions. Okay, one question that came in. Um, on slide number eight, you were talking about NSF 61 certification. What exactly do you mean when you said you have no minimum gallons per day restrictions? This is actually a great question. Very few people are aware that uh, not all NSF 61 certifications are equal. Our units passed all standard requirements that, uh, that were tested from NSF. From what NSF explained to us, if your pillars unit were to fail the testing, um, we could obtain, we would opt to obtain the certification with the minimum daily flow requirement tied to the level of toxins which were released. Basically, NSF would calculate how much water would need to pass through the pitless unit each day to reduce the contact time between the water and the pitless unit. The more flow re reduces the contact time of the contaminants to be absorbed into the water. If enough water continually passes through each day, the water will not absorb harmful levels of contaminants. However, if this daily flow requirements are not met, basically the certification becomes null or void. This means if a well did not produce the required volume 24 seven, for example, if the factory were to shut down for a day or a weekend, uh, it could leach contaminants that were above the allowable limits reduced. And this would make the certification invalid. Um, Beauchart selected raw materials for castings and seals along with NSF's certified epoxy coating, which all tested within the NSF 61 parameters. Therefore, there is no issue even if the water remains in contact with the wetted surface area for long periods of time. To the best of our knowledge, no other pitless units on the market have this uh, certification without limited daily flow rates.
Uh, another question that has come in here is, uh, what is a protective sleeve and do you sell them? Uh, a protective sleeve is simply a short piece of well casing, typically PVC casing of equal inside diameter to the well casing is used. PVC is preferable as it is much lighter, easier to handle, and less likely to scratch the O-ring seating areas. We do not sell the sleeves as well drillers and service companies have the casings readily available and simply cut a section to the required uh, length uh, for their specific bury depth. Uh, we have another question here. My name is Will. I am the uh, QA analyst. Um, the question is, why do you only offer the hold down system and not the torque arrestor feature? Um, so uh, in the past, we had three options available. Uh, one option was no hold down mechanism. Another option was the torque arrestor system. And the last option was the hold down hooks. The option with no hold down mechanism, uh, we offered that to compare with our competitors. And in some deep set installations, there wasn't a risk of lift out. So uh, this wasn't needed, although it did not protect against rotation from locked rotor. Uh, the torque arrestor option, it did protect against both locked rotor and lift out, uh, but the effectiveness of that was dependent on how tight the installer uh, made the bolts on the torque arrestor. So it was impossible for us to guarantee uh, the holding force. So we just eliminated that option. And the hold down hooks, uh, they come with pods on the, the upper barrel and that prevents the straps from slipping during install. And the hooks themselves, they prevent against lift out and rotation because of locked rotors. So it has uh, the most amount of safety features out of all three of those options. and because we made it a standard option, it means that we can drive the cost down. Um, and so now it's even less than what the torque arrestor option was before. So you get the, the safest option for uh, a cost effective price. Uh, another question has come in as, as to where the units are fabricated and uh, how quickly they're available. Uh, the units are fabricated at a fab shop uh, locally here in the Milverton area. And typically lead time is in the two week range. And in some cases, uh, popular items may even uh, be quicker than that as we would have upper barrels and uh, some of the uh, components pre-assembled. And uh, another, question was about uh, assembly of uh, the well caps are often difficult. Um, our well caps do have some unique features that make them very easy to install. Uh, the one key feature is that they are provided as and packaged as separate units. The actual cover is separate from the lower ring assembly and there's positioning tabs on the lower assembly. So you can simply set it onto the well casing and it'll be in perfect location. There's no need to lift the, the very heavy assembly on all as one complete unit. So that is something that uh, we can possibly uh, do a blog on or something in more detail uh, as for the installation. That's a, that's a good question. Uh, many of the installers have commented uh, on how much they, they like how the, the well caps uh, install. Hopefully that answers the question. Okay, that is all the time we have for questions for the presentation. So we will just continue. Any questions we cannot did not get to, we will get to after the presentation. You can learn more about the features we offer at Bow Sharts as well as other useful information on plumbing and water well products. At Bow Shart U, our goal is to equip you and your team with the knowledge you need to be more successful.
We regularly publish new blogs and content that will help you become more comfortable and confident with our products. Be sure to follow Bochart Industries on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook to stay connected with us. Thank you again for joining us today. Check out our website for more product specs and subscribe to our blog to receive new content updates. Enjoy the rest of your day.